everyone, this is Ina with Inichka Chef and welcome to my kitchen. Today in the episode we are making something what my mom did every fall, sauerkraut. If you follow me for a while, I already published one recipe with red cabbage, but today I'm making classic, traditional, what my mom did every October. She probably did like 50 pounds or even more, I don't remember, but took us whole family whole day to do it. I made in much smaller <laughs> version of what she did, but still, it's five big cabbages and carrots. And you end up with nice, beautiful color in, in it has a lot of flavor. I like the sweetness from the carrots and plus it has more nutrients, I think, of a sauerkraut. If you know me, I like fermented food and I do so many different ferments. If you follow me, you saw a fermented salsa, kimchi, fermented bread and so forth. I love, love, and I cannot tell enough how good this for you and how much it helped me and my family to heal um, our gut and um, get rid of it many, <laughs> many problems what we had. So let's show me what we need for ingredients. So for the ingredients, we need main ingredients, cabbage, white cabbage, regular cabbage, and this time of the year it's much more firm. I'm sorry for any noise, I have baby <laughs> nearby. And cabbage much more uh, thicker leaves and that's exactly what you want. Uh, in spring cabbage more um, soft, more juicy and it's for regular coleslaw it's fine. But even I make sauerkraut, but the sauerkraut traditionally made in fall when it's a harvest winter cabbage we call it. And also I like to add carrots, my mom always did. It gives little sweetness. The sauerkraut has beautiful color. Instead of grayish, it's more yellow, more appealing to eat, right? Plus, uh, carrots has sweetness. It has a lot of prebiotic, which is fiber, and it's a uh, good food for good bacteria. And I, I think it um, only benefits sauerkraut. And most important ingredient, salt. I cannot express enough salt. Uh, many people saying, uh, doesn't work. Uh, I hear sometimes I'm receiving an email um, about um, salt. If it's important uh, to do as much salt, yes. I think cutting on salt is not a good idea. Um, too much salt will not let any bacteria grow and we want good bacteria. And if it's too little salt, not enough, uh, bad bacteria will overcome and that's not good either. Naturally, cabbage has uh, outside uh, has um, lactobacillus. It's a good bacteria to um, will multiply during fermentation. Um, so it's natural occur on a, this particular vegetable. Some vegetable has more, some vegetable has less. But cabbage is well known for that. It's very safe to eat, and if some people worry about botulism or other uh, problems, uh, <laughs> more it's more often it can happen with pickling, but not with fermentation. Also, I like to add um, whole peppercorns. My mom always add all spice she adds. I don't have whole, uh, whole spice today, so it will be without. But you can add whatever you want. Salt is the most important, and I'm adding Celtic salt. It's almost every of my recipe, Celtic salt. That's what I like. And I will link below. I'm getting in a big, big um, bags usually it lasts longer but it's a better price to get this way and I'm using quite a bit we don't use any processed white salt kosher salt and so forth <laughs> and another thing I like to add uh, uh, coriander seeds my mom add but it's optional whatever you want and the chili peppers you don't have to add <laughs> if you don't like any spice you will hardly feel or taste but gives here and there a little punch if you like you don't have to. And then um, caraway seed would be another option. Bay leaves, I don't have today um, bay leaves, so we'll skip. It, it's not important, spice. The salt and cabbage, I think that's two main ingredients you have to add. And you can play around, and I will link below blog what can you do, what you can add as well, and um, what you can substitute. Also, how to use sauerkraut. You can uh, use many other, many, many ways. I eat as it is with uh, spoon, with fork. But um, I notice many Americans only eat on Reuben sandwich or 
of his bratwurst, which is fine too. And whatever you prefer, my husband likes that way, but I can eat as it is. <laughs> Top your salad and then use uh, as addition for regular salads uh, or I really make so, so many, many, many things. <laughs> Let's do it. There we go. We remove this core. Everything else can work. This recipe is great because you can make as many cabbage heads you want or uh, you can increase or you can decrease you can add other ingredients like celery sometimes I add or sometimes um, white uh, carrots just for fun <laughs> different red cabbage whatever you want and the salt uh, easy to calculate it's ab about between three to four percent of salt Celtic salt, that's what I recommend. If you don't have Celtic salt, use Himalayan salt, pink salt. But try to stick with those two salts. And then really amount is important. And now salt. We got quite a bit, great amount of cabbage. And um, I, would, I would think about between six to seven tablespoons, hip and spoon. But I always like to try. The cabbage is supposed to be salty, much saltier than you would wish to eat as a coleslaw. Five, six, seven, and we'll try. Some peppers and about two tablespoons of coriander seed. I love coriander quite a bit often I'm using it in my recipes. And peppercorns. Mm. Nice big two tablespoons. Try to mix everything. Sometimes I'm making batches and <laughs> mix in a bowl, but I haven't done this time. <laughs> so be challenged to mix everything, but you have to mix everything through so it will be even distributed salt and spice through the cabbage and carrots. Look how pretty color. So it seems like cabbage nice and juicy. That's exactly what you want and you have to taste a little bit. You have to taste a little bit. Yes. <laughs> I made so many times sauerkraut. But who didn't? I hardly recommend to taste based on your taste bud, but much saltier than you wish to eat as coleslaw. So, now what we want and what is more important to have juice come out and cover it's very important to cover cabbage <laughs> As you see, it's um, as you see, it's pounded in half what we had from original, 
water of cabbage. So at this point, even if we don't see juice on top, it will be fine. We'll see in a couple of hours. So what I'm going to do, just make a press, take a plate or some with water. I'll cover and I would say about six days. <laughs> now we cover and time uh, we need to wait. That's the hardest part. <laughs> you have to wait. And I would say I live in very warm climate here. So warm year around. It takes about five to six days in the summer. And I would not recommend even longer. You taste. Some people keep up to two weeks. It's not really necessary because the bacon, the most amount of beneficial bacteria, the peak where the most harvest for your body you can get um, from probiotic, um, it's six days. Six, six to seven days, one week you don't need. But if you live in Alaska or something like that, probably two weeks will take or so. My mom kept in very cold uh, place, so it took much longer, but no need here. And uh, about three days from now, I will open up and release gas. And I will show you how to do that. It's pretty easy. You can use any um, stick or something like um, something like that. And really, the reason why we're doing this to release gas and kind of let everything go in. And you'll see at that point a lot of bi bubbles. So I'm excited to show you that step. It's not absolutely necessary. Sometimes they skip. Not everyone does that. But my mom always did. And I will do this time. I will show you. So let's check our salad crowd. It was three days from the moment we started. And as you see, it's a lot of bubbles and form going on. Plenty of juice. And my mom always did, she likes to poke and release, she's saying, bitterness and gas. We'll see what happens. You see the bubbles? Oh yes, you can tell. <laughs> you can tell, you can smell my crops are working. And we place an weights back. And this is probably good for another three days. And welcome back six days later our salad crowd is ready and I'm very excited to show and share with you my result it looks and smell like salad crowd come here and see it lots of bubbling forming Water and lots of juice. You see the bubbles? It's all this gas and um, fermentation. Beautiful color. Juicy. Look at this. My goodness. <laughs> I love sauerkraut. 
my mom's sauerkraut i think the best <laughs> i grew up with this kind of sauerkraut with little bit of carrot and it's always nice and crispy which is i love it can you hear <laughs> crispy yes and it's sour enough for those people who believe needs longer than six days go ahead and do it but it's absolutely unnecessary six days it's a the perfect amount of time especially in warmer climes my my house is 74 72 kitchen temperature so no need more than six days and you have perfectly beautiful naturally probiotic it's better than any in a pill and i love to eat on in on top of salad um sandwiches uh, kids eating as it is and i eat as it is um also we like to make wraps and really it's so useful for everything and i have several recipes on my website i'll link below how to use and many recipes also the juice juice i like to use i actually like to do a shot <laughs> once a while but um it has a lot of a lot of good stuff enzymes and um it's it's just unbelievable how make you feel good <laughs> and the juice and makes uh, dressing for the salad um, replace lemon juice sometimes and um, or vinegar or oh, really <laughs> be creative you then and eat probiotic rich and um, old-fashioned fermented food is the best has more vitamin C than fresh cabbage up to 700 milligrams versus um, fresh cabbage 70 so it just um, enormous amount of health benefits from uh, sauerkraut so eat your kraut enjoy probiotic on daily basis and give me a like and subscribe share with your family and support me on my patreon if you like <laughs> bye see you next time